Aloha everybody, it is I, the great Clement, and while I'm gathering footage for my future Mario and Sonic video, and the ZX extra video I promised a long time ago, <laughs> I swear that video's coming out, I promise. <laughs> I figured I would do another Let's Play in the meantime, and so I chose a rather short but rather fantastic, obscure PlayStation 2 game developed by Zoom Computersoft Create, published by Fresh Games and IDOS Interactive. I must warn you folks, this game contains scenes of explicit itchiness. And also, be careful how you handle insecticide. You always gotta read the directions on that stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a fantastic game, and I really hope you stick with this one. It is so quirky, it is so weird. This is Mr. Mosquito. Welcome to the home of the Yamada family. It's summer. Do you like summer? Summer drives people crazy, and that makes them commit terrible acts. Take the tiny harmless mosquito, for example. It doesn't have enough time to do much during its one precious short life. Yet with one swipe, a human can snatch such a priceless life away without a second's thought. I am sure that you may already realize that you are a mosquito, the insect that bites people and makes them feel itchy, the insect that creates a trail of swollen bites. As a mosquito, there is something that you naturally have to do. You have to suck blood. You must suck and store away as much human blood as possible in order to survive the winter and see another spring. However, blood sucking is accompanied with much danger. It may come as a surprise to you, but you're not welcome in the Yamada family home. Why on earth not? because you make people feel itchy. Bear in mind that they will go to great lengths to protect themselves from you. Nevertheless, please enjoy your summer of blood sucking. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Mosquito. In this game, we play the role of a mosquito, and we have to terrorize a family and suck their blood so that we can keep ourselves alive. But, you know, he is a pretty cute-looking mosquito for 2002 PlayStation 2 graphics. <laughs> it's an old game, kids. So, right now, we don't really have too much. We can change the color of the mosquito later after we accomplish certain tasks. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a short playthrough. There are only 12 stages in the whole entire game. Most stages take less than 10 minutes to complete, but, uh, it's something else, ladies and gentlemen. It's something else. This is Rena's room. Rena is the daughter of the Yamada family. She went on a school trip today, and she sprayed herself with bug repellent. But that was some time ago so it's likely to be wearing off in some places. You should suck from those spots. Good luck in finding them. Move over, Dad. You're too close to me. It's so hot today. <coughs> Isn't it the time of year to take a family picture? I've been looking forward to it. How about taking a picture of just you and Dad? I don't want to be in it. What are you talking about? Why not? I just don't see why we have to take the same old pictures year after year. We take a picture every year. That's enough of a reason. Look me up here, Kenichi. <clears throat> why don't neither of you want to be in this picture? It's such a pain. Let's not bother this year. 
It's because of me, isn't it? You don't want to be in the photo with me, do you? <laughs> Mom! <laughs> I want nothing to do with this. I'm going to my room. So as I tend to do with all of my Let's Plays, I will be editing out load times, but uh, I figured I'd leave this one in just to give you a taste of how long the load times are going from cutscene to the actual levels. Uh, it's not really all that long, and uh, yeah, now you know. I'm so tired. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is Mr. Mosquito. As I said before, we are playing the role of the Mosquito. We have to fly around these gigantic, humongous, crazy houses. And we have to suck blood from the inhabitants of this house. <sighs> and uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with this game. So, right off the bat, it plays almost like a space shooter. It, it plays almost like this weird kind of flight simulator type game where, like, the mosquito can reverse by holding L1. He can go forward by holding R1. You can actually levitate the mosquito by pushing up on the right analog stick. You can make him go left by pushing left on the left analog stick. And uh, he actually has a whole bunch of stuff like in a Star Fox type game where like if you push R2, the mosquito will do a complete 180 and turn around wherever he's going. So if I want him to turn on a dime and go back the way he's, he's coming from, I can just push R2 and then vroom, he's going back the way he came. Uh, there's a lot of collectibles in every level of the game. Right now I'm collecting heart rings. If you collect 50 heart rings in Mr. Mosquito, you get an extra life counter to your overall health bar. You start off with three hearts and you get 50 heart rings, you'll have more than three hearts. And believe me, uh, when you get to the later stages in the game, when you start having to battle the humans of this world, <laughs> their attacks can be quite painful, so I would recommend before you start sucking blood, maybe you want to fly around the level, look around, see what kind of items you can pick up. Uh, another item I picked up, or at least I'm going to pick up soon, is an X-Tank. And collecting all of the X-Tanks in the game will get you a special bonus after you've completed the game. Uh, you don't really need them, and if you wanted to speedrun this game, you can completely ignore all these items and just get to the blood sucking. Uh, but I will be looking out for each X-Tank, I will be looking out for all of the special foods, because for some reason there are miniature foods that the mosquito can find and collect. Uh, I won't be getting every single heart ring, so I'm not going for 100% item co completion, uh, but I am doing enough to uh, satisfy the playthrough, you know. You're not encouraged to fly around in front of the characters, because when you get in front of them, they notice that there's a mosquito in the room, and they'll try to come at you and swat at you and crush you. I just calmed her down. <laughs> when you get into battle mode with the humans of the world, you have to then attack their pressure points in order to make them relax. And there will be red pressure points, so... You lock on to a pressure point by hovering in front of it, because, like, the mosquito has, like, this cursor, right? And as soon as your cursor is locked onto something, you push circle, and the mosquito will immediately dive for whatever he's facing. And when it comes to battling, you just home in on one of those faint points, and they will they'll relax. They'll forget that they were even going after a mosquito. They're, they're all happy now, you know? <laughs> Uh, but now we're getting to the blood sucking. So, originally, I couldn't suck from her thigh, because I had to actually convince her to do something different. 
So I had to battle her in order to change her positioning so that her thigh would be exposed. But there are alternative things to do in order to make her not cover that area of her body. Like right now, I can't lock onto the thigh. There's no way to, to lock onto it, there's no way to suck blood from it, and I need the blood. So... Boom! Let's turn on the radio, why not? <laughs> this mosquito is super, super strong. And Reyna here will go, and she'll go to the why? radio, and uh... Why? She'll be a little freaked out about how her radio just turned on without I can't anything, see. you know. Must have been the wind. Yes, dear, it must have been the wind. You just keep believing that. So I could do that to expose the blood point on her thigh, or click! I could even home in on the lights and turn the lights off. And she'll get up to turn the lights back on. I guess that was the wind, too. Huh, that's weird. The light switch just went off for no reason. <laughs> I'm warning you right now, this game... Is super silly it is super quirky it is super Japanese and when we start meeting the other characters especially Reina's parents oh god the mother is hilarious the father's hilarious this entire game is so quirky and fun and I just know the first time I played this I was instantly instantly in love with this game this game I hate mosquitoes in real life like, they're the worst friggin' things in the world to me. I have to kill a mosquito if I see it. And I'm sorry if you're a mosquito lover, but I just hate them. But this game, man, it makes me get past my anger, and it just makes me enjoy this scenario. <laughs> this is a, a really fun game. How was it the first time? I hope you enjoyed your first blood suck. So that's level one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the reason I initiated a battle with her by buzzing in front of her face, that's actually how you unlock colors. So by beating her in a certain time limit, I have unlocked a color. So now I can change Mr. Mosquito from orange to white, if I so desire. And uh, there's a whole bunch of colors to unlock throughout the game. When I get to my, my preferred color, I'm actually going to be sticking with that. Uh, but I will still be unlocking all the other colors and showing them off as the game goes on. Uh, so right here is the list, you know, there's the colors you get for each stage. And again, this game's not super long. This is going to be like six parts, uh, not counting the extra video, because there's only 12 levels in the game, and uh, it's just something I'm going to do in the meantime. <laughs> this game is fantastic, though, and I, I really hope you stick with it. Oh yes, and here's the memory card, because it's saving. <laughs> But uh, I really hope you guys stick with this one, because it is a fantastic game. It's really quirky. It's really silly. I hope you stick with this one, and uh, I shall see you in part two. Till then. This is the Yamada storeroom. Rina's mother, Kaneo, is looking for their family albums. The storeroom is full of toxic clothing insecticide. Try to avoid the toxic air as you fly around. Ow! I feel so itchy! That's odd, because I had some bug repellent on. Rub some aloe vera on it. No way! It makes me feel sick! Don't be so silly, aloe works. <sighs> Where are you bitten? It wasn't here, was it? I don't know. But if there's a mosquito here, you'll be next. You must be kidding. <laughs> uh, what? That's right. I've been looking for something. Uh, what are you looking for? 